My problem is I keep on doing things which take 200 hours to do. <laughs> like, maybe I should do things in games that only take four hours. Camera is upgraded. Yeah, I hope you all enjoy that. That's special for you all. Dragon Age 4 is out soon as well. Jesus fuck. My notes say I am in the process of unlocking the speedy items so that I can play Hunter. No, not Hunter. Hiker. Where's Hiker? That one. Hiker wants more speed because I get stuff for moving. And so in order to do that, I wanted to win as speedy. Why aren't they alphabetical? <laughs> it's just kind of... I'm sorry, why Why not use the alphabet? Uh, anyway, let's play a speedy run. Newbie the Golden Calf, thanks for 35 months, appreciate it. Any RPG is going to have a tough time following Baldur's Gate 3. Yep. Especially because, like, you're now looking at people having to choose to play you instead of just playing another Baldur's Gate 3 campaign. Uh... Speedy is allowed to start with Thief Daggers, so, like, LOL. Uh, <laughs> this should be okay. Hey, the rich potato. Is that the Jorbs from Twitch? Uh, that's where we are, right? I, I think so. I really hope Dragon Age 4 is good. I'm sure it will be at least a little bit passable. Blue speed? That does kind of feel like what my character does, doesn't it? I'm gonna take harvesting instead. Just checking YouTube. Jorbs didn't try to steal your job. Uh, well, you know. No comment on that one. You played Origins for like six hours and realized you hadn't had fun a single time. Yeah. How much would Thief Tigers need to be nerfed to not be an auto-pick? It's an interesting question because how good they are is heavily dependent on how good you are, I think. Um, so I'm not even sure that they should be nerfed. Um, here's, here's what I think. You need to understand how to build Thief Daggers for them to be really obnoxiously good. And you need to have decent piloting for the early waves as well. They're not very strong at the start, and you have to build, like, a few different specific things before they become strong. And some of them are kind of obvious, uh, but others are, like, you have to know to go to 60 range, kind of. I mean, you don't have to go to exactly 60 range, but... Um, maximizing Thief Daggers is not a thing a new player automatically knows how to do. So... On account of all of that... I don't know if I could recommend a Thief Dagger now. The other thing is, like, once you get to a point where you understand how to win the game with, like, the different weapons, there are 
a few weapons which can just vary consistently win the game by doing the same thing on like half of the characters. Deep daggers, SMGs, like spears are very good. Like, it's not like there are only two of these. There are a number of weapons which are very, very strong if you understand how to build them. And so I think most people who want to keep playing the game at that point uh, start random weapon starting so that they're not just picking something they understand what to do exactly everything with every character. And if you're a random weapon starting, then Thief Daggers really aren't that obnoxious because they're not something that you swap into very easily later in the run. They are a thing that is strong if you have it at the start of a run and then becomes far less exciting later. Hey, Carvolio! However, for the purposes of this little challenge where I'm unlocking everyone, I'm letting myself pick starter weapons. And in that context, as somebody who understands how to build Thief Dagger, Thief Daggers are pretty obnoxious. It's fine though. I think any reason to be melee overranged is a good thing. Because you think ranged is generally stronger than melee, or because you think melee is more fun to play than ranged? Oh, okay. Sure. I feel like melee play novice players will gravitate toward melee anyway. They should nerf Thief Tigers because it's a flavor fail. It is kind of a flavor fail. I think I agree with that. Zephyr doing? He's been yowling for food a lot. <laughs> he and I are not on the best terms right now. I mean, we're doing fine. I just have been ignoring him. Which causes him some amount of consternation. Made a vet appointment for him because he is overweight. <laughs> And, and keeps yowling for more food. So, we'll see what the vet says. How do you feel about all the minus knockback? There's definitely more of the word knockback in the items now. And I think I mostly don't care if I have knockback or not. There is like one place on the game where I care about knockback and it is wave... Ooh, I haven't played the base map for so long. Wave 12? It's the wave where the enemies who chase you and get faster and faster show up in number for the first time on the base map. Because they're very vulnerable to knockback and when you knock them back they lose their built up speed. So... For exactly that wave, knockback can be really good if your damage is too low to kill them. But, for literally everything else in the game, I just don't really care if I have knockback or not. Wave 11? Yeah, that sounds right. I like knockback on pacifist-like builds. Oh, sure, yeah, knockback does matter on pacifist. But like, okay, but hand already has knockback, and you start with hand, <laughs> I guess. Do you play pacifist-like builds on characters who aren't pacifist?
As speedy, there is a weird... Um, a weird debuff that the character has where if I stand still I lose 100 armor. And as such, I want to make sure I have a lot of max HP because I don't want to rely on the idea that my armor is blocking damage for me. Sometimes if you turn a corner quickly, the game thinks you're standing still for a couple of frames and you can get hit in those frames and then take minus 100 armor is like three times damage or something. So I want to make sure that I have high max HP so that I don't die if that happens. Max HP, like so. Coil exists now. So this is a reason to care about knockback, which is fine. What demographic would I recommend Brotato for? Uh, I, this is a very accessible game, like, I know a lot of different people who find Brotato fun. It's kind of like, it's kind of like an arcade game that also has reasons to think in it, so, like, Arcade games are just kind of universally appealing, and then if you're a person who likes to have a bit more depth to your games, well, it also has depth, so it's a good game. That, minus 18 there, ow, it's a little concerning. Red. Thanks for the 51 months. Appreciate it. Weave 10 crown for 150. Probably just barely okay. Do I have crit chance yet? Not really. You recommend it to anyone with potato in their name. Nice. Why not just get to 200 armor? Maybe with Axolotl I will successfully do that. Could happen. If I put armor at 1 and harvesting at like 200 or whatever because I have a crown. I heard my cat yowling, but I think it's just something that was intentionally put in this song. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't hate a bit more health. It's a horde wave. You can take a cute monkey. I can take two cute monkeys. I want to take. Two alien worms, I think. Or maybe two blood leeches and one alien worm. How's life, Twitch chat? What's new? with you. You know what I'm excited about? We have three weeks until the election, which means that it will be over soon. Oh my god, I am so excited for the election to be over.
pretty good for a horde wave. In my opinion. You've been working part-time at a winery. Cool, I went to wine country for the first time recently. Eastern Washington has a lot of wine. I'll take two octopodes. It was like vaguely enjoyable. I don't drink a ton, but I don't know. I get why people do it. By it will be over soon, meaning the country. I mean... I think that's more of a gradual thing than, a, than an instantaneous thing. Where we are on that gradual. Uh, I don't know. That nose thing just kept on following me forever. It charged for such a long way. Do they just charge until the end of the map? Do they ever stop? I'm not sure I've ever seen one of them stop charging. Oh, that one charged and stopped. They charge like two-thirds of the length of the map. Sure, whatever. I should check if Devolver sent me a key for Neva. Interesting wave. My sustain is not as good as I was hoping it would be. Wow, I'm just dead. Wow. Okay. What happened? Wave 14? I think maybe I just got offered very bad items. Uh, add to... Add to... What do I call this elite? Lines point at you, elite, plus huge HP enemies. Worth noting that the last time I died was to a wave 14 elite as well. I think wave 14 might be my nemesis here. I don't think there's anything different to do. I think I kind of have one purple item as of wave 14. So, like, yeah, no shit, it didn't go very well. I don't know. <laughs> the you are here elite. One of the ways we're having 30 speed starts to be downside. Yes. 30 speed actually does actively make it harder to dodge sometimes. I should play a boss title card when the elites show up so you can learn their names. I don't the idea. Or there could be a name tag on the elite's health bar. What 
What if that elite is named States Rights? Because it draws so many lines, like a map? Is that... Was there a reason you suggested that, or...? Just took a bait on Speedy and almost died. But you didn't die. So it was correct. And next time you should take more, probably. You stop E. Some of the problem is that this character gets speed items in shop. I'm just going to buy these now. And speed items are just kind of bad. The thing that kills you the most is the one that makes circles that move away from them. Are they in like a DNA helix shape? No. You mean the one that makes like... I think it's two or three lines of them. And then in phase two starts shooting like a machine gun, right? Well, buy a plant. Why not? Maybe I shouldn't have bought crown. I don't know. Maybe I should have gotten offered a better item than crown. <laughs> Cursed Wisdom feels real good. I could believe that. I don't think I have yet had the pleasure. This is the first lure I've purchased. I forgot it had two HP regen on it. God, that's a good item. <laughs> Holy shit. It has two HP regen. Wow. Okay. Cool. So you get two loot crates and the materials, and the healing from this enemy. Look at all those materials. And you get 2 HP regen. That was a good item. You do have to actually kill the loot aliens, but, you know. see what we got. A mutation? Nope. Glasses. Okay, well... <laughs> you're not... You're not doing a great job of making my point for me here. Cursed Sickle. I feel like I should probably buy that. Eh, I'm not gonna buy it. 
Penguin OP? Is it bugged? Does it give you one HP regen for the rest of the wave, even if you're not at full health when you pick up the consumable? That's the that's what penguin is, right? Do I have penguin? No. I'm gonna play some horror games, including inscription. I met the guy who made inscription. Had a party attacks. He seemed like a cool guy. He is working on a sequel to Hey Surge. I'm actually gonna finish that sentence in case it's not public knowledge. <laughs> uh, thanks for the raid, Surge. Thanks for the raid, Surge. Not a not a sequel. Not the thing. Anyway. <laughs> Bone Island 2 is announced. Okay, good. Draw the dogs. Hello. Hey, Kurno. Hey, Mr. Sarkon. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Artemis Huntress. Hey, Tim the Enchanter. Hey, the Ain map. He's working on Pony Island 2. Talking to people about what they are working on at leg like, parties and shit is a little terrifying as a streamer. Because then at some point in the future you may be asked. And are you going to remember whether it's announced or not? My norm is just not to talk about stuff like that at all. Both at the parties and on stream. Now I know more about Slay the Spire 2 than the general public does. I might know less about it than the general public does, I don't know. I know Casey and Anthony, so like, yeah. But I am not involved in working on Slay the Spire 2. How do I make my character better? Why does the shop just not have anything in it ever? I found out that they have the entire game where the Mariners beat the Yankees to qualify for the AL Division Series, right? Or was this in the AL Division Series? I don't know. Um, But it has the wrong commentary on it. It doesn't have Dave Niehaus's commentary. It's like a different broadcast team. Fucked up. Fucking wild. Imagine having a call on this play that wasn't this one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sorry, like, uh... <laughs> one of the reasons I like Macklemore is he is from Seattle, which is where I live. And he is not opposed to singing songs which are meaningful to a white guy about my age who lives in Seattle. Which to most people probably are completely meaningless, but to me it's like, oh shit, yes, <laughs> I'm going to cry a little now. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, tentacle feels like a good item. It feels like I just found a good item, finally. They are American League. That's what I said, right? 
I just, I think that's, that's, I'm pretty sure that was to qualify for the division series. But I don't remember how playoff baseball works, so. You could say for sure. Oh, tentacle. Holy shit, tentacle. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's gonna make a big difference. Compared to last run. It was to qualify for the World Series when they had the 116 wins. Uh, have they ever qualified for the World Series? It was before then. I got a bit late for track there, but I'll buy it anyway. They're the only baseball team to never qualify for the World Series. Good old Seattle Mariners. Getting excited about the Mariners and then having them let you down is a defining experience of people who live in Seattle over the last 30 years. Like, everyone, everyone gets it. I guess some people probably just don't care about baseball at all. Good work, tentacle. Being able to heal after I take damage is a lot better than not being able to heal after I take damage. I think a bit more range, I think. Use some attack speed too. Crown is back? Sure. Let's credit Goblet a little too. 48 HP, 27 HP. Oh, it's actually Goblet. Wow, okay. Goblet OP. Wait, is Goblet too strong? <laughs> Shouldn't... Surely Tentacle should be healing me more than Goblet, given that Tentacle is contingent on you being able to crit, and my build has almost 100% crit. Hmm. Well, good work, Goblet, then. I guess Tentacle has plus 3% crit on it, and Goblet has minus 2 HP regen and lifesteal. Also, Goblet is purple and Tentacle's blue. Still, I'm really surprised that uh, Goblet is doing that much better. I've also had Goblet for a little bit longer. Good gobletting. Whoa! The game just lagged. Graphics card? Are you okay? Looking to see if I have anything open that would be taxing it. I don't see anything. Hmm. Y'all got buffed? <laughs> Was that necessary? Still says minus HP regen on lifesteal.
Oh, there's an update that I haven't downloaded. Is that what's going on? So weird. Like, I'm connected to uh, the internet and online on Steam, so I don't understand why an update wouldn't have pushed. I opened the game at the start of the stream. Anyway, you're telling me that I have to reopen the game after this run? Is that... am I reading this correctly? Date 13 hours ago. Huh. Okay. I need one more engineering. Or actually, I could also do minus one engineering. So that when I get axolotl, it'll work better. Nuclear launcher. A hey, nuclear launcher. I'm not gonna buy you. I wonder how it decides if it's going to update or not. That's weird, right? Like, shouldn't it decide if it needs to update when I launch it? Shouldn't it, like, check to see if it's the latest version? It feels like it should. Am I wrong? <laughs> like I'm wrong. See, these things are 33 months. Appreciate it. I thought that it had data in the game. Like, it said what its version number was. And then when you launched it, it checked to make sure that was the latest version. And I just don't understand how that process could break. Like, surely that should just reliably work. Maybe it's all more complicated than I think. Many things are. Actually reduced my speed a little bit, which I don't mind at the moment. I'm gonna reduce it more. I'm gonna buy two helmets. None of you can stop me. All right, this is the uh, elite that killed me last time. I just caught every single one of those. Dodging isn't quite spooled up yet tonight. I kind of am deliberately getting hit by some things because I don't want to ever make a 180 degree turn as well. Because I think as long as I don't drop 100 armor, I won't die. But if I drop 100 armor by making the sharp turn and then also get hit by something right then, I could actually die there. games do I play when I'm not streaming? Um, usually mindless stuff if I'm going to play anything. Definitely save my analytical brain for on stream. I kill this. 
Okay. Once they lock onto one of the chambers, if you kill them, that chamber dies. Oh my god, okay. How has it taken me this long to understand that? Probably because it doesn't make any sense, but... <laughs> okay. Finally, I understand it. Dice Omancer. Yeah, when a game has dice in the name, I just don't play it at this point. It's just going to upset me. I have learned this about myself. I have accepted it. <laughs> it's fine. We move on with life. May you spoil the top ascension. Modifier. Uh, here's the thing. I wouldn't care, but other people in chat may. So, no, I can't do that. Unless every single person in chat says they're okay with it. But I don't think that's going to happen. to have game sounds turned off. I wonder if that's impactful to my ability to win. You can hear the game sounds, but I actually can't. I have a slider on my end. I'll turn them up so I can actually hear the clock ticking down at the end and stuff. One person has said they would rather you not. There you go. We can now stop. Hunting trophy has arrived. A little late. A little late. I'm very quiet in relation to everything else. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably just not talking that loud. Was that fireball in the shop? There was a fireball in the shop. I wonder if I was talking less loudly because I couldn't hear the game sounds, actually. Huh. I might talk more loudly now that I've turned them on. This wave is kind of... My sustain is dependent on killing enemies. And all the enemies have like 700 health. Or explode when you kill them. Oy. I'm curious what the top ascension modifier is now, so I think I'm going to look it up. Can your healing turrets crit? I don't think I have any turrets. Unlucky. Alright. Let me look it up. Dysomancer Ascension Modifiers. I googled Dysomancer Ascension Modifiers, and the first hit that actually has an answer of what Ascension Modifiers are is about Slay the Spire. What 
what if they used their own word for it? It's it isn't search engine optimization. It's just that everybody copied Slay the Spire. Uh, hey, Olin D. Grin, 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 Olin Grin, Olin Grin. How are you? A person in the Discord mentioned it, and we spent a few hours going insane about how bad it is. Oh, okay. The person in the Discord. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay, it's better for me not to know. It will just upset me. You just axolotled yourself 203 HP regen like nice one. I just bought a fairy which effectively does that. Without needing axolotl. That is quite a vigilante ring. Wait, that has more than a hundred percent boost. It's usually three percent damage. Hello? Curse bonuses max at a hundred and ten percent. Wild stuff. Are the drop chances of new items increased in the beta branch? Uh, well, they aren't zero. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand the question. I, I think they are what they will be when the beta releases. Or at least what they are planned to be when the beta releases. I have rolled so many dodges. I just can't get hit. Damn. I... I've won like 18 coin flips in a row. <laughs> oh my god, it keeps happening. Is it bugged? I got hit finally. I feel like it's bugged. You're asking if they're increased in the beta branch for testing. Like, you see them more often in the beta branch so that they can be... Yeah, I don't think so. Seems like you see them about the right amount of the time. Alright, we have defeated Speedy. Uh, what was it? What's the name of the thing? Goblet. Goblet was OP sustained for the hard waves. Yeah, that's all there is to say. Speedy is done. Finn is unlocked. Now I have heard that Hiker is difficult. I am going to restart my game and see if I can force an update. I'm gonna like, I guess, leave the beta branch and then rejoin it. That should force it, right? 
What am I going to have for dinner? I had ramen. It was ramen. Do you know that this game is 98 megabytes? Unreal. Don't they think about like whether people have enough hard drive space or anything like that? Okay, I've never played Hiker on Danger 5 before. Wait, you can start with Thief Dagger? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, well it's possible that I meant to just start with Thief Dagger. I didn't realize you were allowed to start with Thief Dagger. I'm gonna start with Jousting once though. For the speed percent. like the hiker he looks happy he looks a lot more happy now than he did at the start look at those eyes oh god you're supposed to couch the lads mm. seventy feels like a noticeably high wave one count yeah I don't know people say that this character doesn't have econ but then I play the character and it like does. So I don't get it. You're discovering chat GPT for the first time properly. Write a short story about an old timey Victorian chimney sweep who was turned into a chatbot and then took over the world and got increasingly looter as they did it. Love it. I'm glad you're having fun. I wonder if the movement has the same problem that Speedy has. Uh, here's my opinion. I think that there is a point where movement speed stops having downside again, because you just run in a circle <laughs> at some point. At some point, you just run in a circle and everything misses you. We'll see, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Just got home from work. Happy to tune into a chill stream. Hey, history check on. Hope work was good. Today I learned the difference between ethnocentrism and racism. The difference between ethnocentrism and racism is mostly that they're the same thing. I learned. This is a thing I actually learned that was interesting. I learned that in Europe, culture and race are held distinct from each other, whereas in the US they are not. Which is interesting to me, because they are different things, right? I'm pretty sure they're different things. Speedy cares about your acceleration every frame. That a hiker just cares about total steps is no big deal. Oh, that's what you're asking. Oh, I'm sorry, Surfy Boy. I didn't finish reading your question. Um, you were asking if there's like types of movement which take more steps or less steps. That is a terrifying thought. Like, what if you have to zigzag for the entirety of your run? Just go this nonstop. Makes sense, though, given the US is such a melting pot. I actually like 
kind of makes less sense to me. Like, it should be obvious to someone in the U.S. that race and culture are um, separate from each other because we see a bunch of people of all different races who have American culture, like, every day of our lives. <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyway, my interpretation of this is that the U.S. is racist. Oh, well. A nice thing about Hiker is that we don't randomly take triple damage from an attack. We're standing still for half a second. Not even half a second, to be honest. As a US citizen, it's actually hard to not be subconsciously racist. I don't know if hard is the word I would use, but I agree with like the general point you're making, which I would characterize as like we live in systems which are normalizing racism so much that we reach a point where the normal thing is racist. Which means that we have to do things which are abnormal constantly to not be racist. Which is hard. It's hard to do things which aren't normal because they're not like the thing that you immediately think of to do or whatever. It's not hard from like a, an ethical standpoint, it's hard from a like, that's just not what your first thought is standpoint. People are saying no to racism means let's do racism. What does it mean if you say, let's do racism? I think you've kind of noticed it before. It's why so many Americans consider themselves by their culture, i.e. Italian, Irish, etc. I think a lot of this stuff is very unintuitive to me. Like. I wasn't raised in a household where a lot of the normalized beliefs about a race that are common in the U.S. were normalized. Like, that wasn't part of my childhood. So a lot of them just don't make sense to me or spring to mind. Should I... I mean, should I... <laughs> I unlocked it because I wanted to buy it sometimes. Oh, I think it's just expensive. Can I explain curse? It makes some stronger enemies, it makes some stronger weapons. You leave for five minutes. Hey the rich potato, how are you? Sorry. I have had more reason to try to understand racism in the last year than I would have liked to have. Um, yeah.
Is it just me or is super hook fish hook super good? It feels like it's pretty good. Your speed is capped. Absolutely not. I don't really want to gentle alien on this character. I don't really get anything for having more enemies. I have minus 25 luck somehow. It's because I bought five of these. Uh, <clears throat> Here, this is massively discounted, so let's buy it. It's Hiker's Gimmick. I get 5 materials for every 10 steps I take. I get 1 max HP for every 80 steps I take. And I get more speed modifications, but I drop fewer materials from enemies. Yeah, a bit of luck couldn't hurt. I would also appreciate some sustain. Let's take attack speed. Just having a lot of max HP is a decent start, though. I'll take the penguin. It's really weird. So when I stream a game, I read chat as well, which means I kind of slowly over time grow to understand that there are like moments during gameplay where I can read the chat window instead of focusing on the gameplay. Uh, Rotato is a real time plus turn-based game. It has this real-time component where you're like moving around and then it has a shop which is turn-based. And so depending on the run, either the real-time part of it is when I can read chat if the run's easy, or the turn-based component of it is when I can read chat if the run's hard. I think that's kind of fascinating. All right, I'm probably dead. I don't have any sustain. I could buy a medical gun. One health per second. Fuck. <laughs> that's actually okay. Uh, it wouldn't have. I have zero HP regen, so it wouldn't have even been better. If I had... You died with two legendary cursed SMGs. Unlucky. Alright, we are going to run away from this for 60 seconds. And honestly... Probably that isn't that hard. We want to encourage it to charge into the corner when we can. Yeah, I don't know. There's like... 
there's a middle point for speed where you're moving so fast that it's hard to dodge everything. And then you get to the other side of it and you're moving so fast that you don't have to dodge anything. just learned something very upsetting about fairy. Tell me everything. Tell me everything. Cursed crystal. I have 52 max HP right now. Four max HP per wave from my passive, I guess. Which means I'm taking 300 steps a wave right now. I'll take some damage percent. I'll take some attack speed. Who wants to time how long it takes for me to get my first max HP increase next wave? You think it still didn't update? Fascinating. Well, I did what I could do. Why did Crystal get buffed? Why is everything getting buffed? Like, why? Thirteen point eight. It's an okay time. We can do better. Hold on. So that means there's a breakpoint. There's a breakpoint at like eighty speed or something where you get four max HP per wave. here. Yeah, I can't kill that. Alright. Raranok, thanks for 53 months. Appreciate it. Maybe I should have taken the nuclear launcher. My damage is kind of poopy. I need to just take more harvesting. Oh, that's kind of fun. Uh, sure. God. I 
I am the platonic ideal of a hiker right now. Yeah, the econ definitely doesn't scale super well. This is a noticeable thing. We'll have to see how dodging wave 20 is with this. I feel like it won't be that bad. And I have had basically an empty stomach for the entire run, so I do kind of have max HP going. Sorry, do they keep getting faster or something? Do they get faster every time they charge? They keep getting bigger and like faster. <laughs> what was going on there? Finding a fairy probably wins it. Why is the arena so small? Is the arena smaller than you? I think I'm just moving very fast. Song name. It is on the screen. A cursed clockwork wasp. Okay. It feels like everything. Yeah, I think 5% enemies is okay if I get HP region for it. Ooh. It's actually good here. Neat. Did I see your burrito cat pick? I don't believe I did. All right, so we have to kill the anglerfish, I guess. We can't just run away from them indefinitely. Well, actually, we probably can, but...
All right, wave 20. What? Is that good? <laughs> it actually might not be. I probably still can't kill stuff. I guess I don't have to move always anymore. I never did, but I was before because it made me materials and max HP and that just doesn't really matter as much anymore. feel hard. Okay. So this feels not only very powerful, but also incredibly consistent. Like, it doesn't really require any items other than start with Jousting Lance, I don't think. Hiker is done. Hiker unlocks Scarf. Okay. Scarf's a fun item. I wonder what tier I give Scarf as an item. Probably, like, pretty high. Is that a tier 1 item? I don't know. I do not have much experience with giving the enemies plus 25% speed, I guess. You have a mirrored scarf which made for a fun next wave. Believable. Okay, who else is really hard? You like potato, but you're bad at moving the potato. You keep dying on the last quarter of each run. Are you using a controller or a keyboard? One option might be to try a different control device. Uh, you could also actually spend quite a long time thinking about how to move in Brotato, and it might help you to think about like which parts of the map are important to stand in, and also which ways you can kind of move that will move the enemies to a place where you can dodge them later. Like, you can think a step ahead. There's something you can do that I call bracketing, which is really strong, where you move around... Like, if you start here, if this is the map, and you start here, you can move like this, And enemies like to spawn in the middle of the map more than on the sides of the map. So generally, this region will be fairly clear. So you'll generally not take too much damage moving through here. When you do that, all these enemies are going to walk into here, which means there's like a good grouping of enemies you can kill and deal damage to. And then... If you move to here, the enemies are going to keep following you and they're going to pull away from this wall that you originally started on, which means you can then turn around and go straight back down it again. Because this region will typically, at this point, 
have a good number of enemies on it. Like, not tons, because enemies, again, they don't like to spawn on the edge of the map. But this region you just walked through and killed all the enemies in. So you can turn around and go back through it again. And not many enemies have had time to spawn there. So, I call that bracketing, and it's like, it is actually... If you want one Brotato movement technique that I think will make you win a lot of runs where you were losing, you go there, and then you go there, and then you repeat over and over and over again. All right. Uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom, and then I have to work out who to play next because that was like my mini checkpoint was getting Hiker done. Uh, adjusting lances, 80% speed was breakpoint for 4 HP per wave, ended on 123 speed, um, decent damage, but not enough to clear bosses. I will be right back. Chat. Hello. What starting weapon do you like on Jack Tyron? A lot of people seem like they like laser gun, but I like jousting lances more on Jack. Hey, right, who should I do now? Icicle is really good on Jack. Really? Huh. Fascinating. So unlocking tier 2 items feels like it could be reasonable. We could play King. King is just kind of... King is a very strong potato. Have I done the crit characters? I haven't done Hunter yet. I wanted to do Hunter before I did Mutant. Is Icicle good in general? Not an interesting question. I have equipped an Icicle in the game Rotato. I haven't really built around one yet. I think we just do King and get Excalibur, and it should be a pretty easy run, which will be nice because I feel like the last two runs have been a lot of thinking. Uh, SMG? Probably. Loot King? Wait, plus 50 starting luck? Wait, what? I don't think, like, I don't think 
anyone checked whether loot was balanced? <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. Hiking stick for the hiking. Good one. So I got minus 30% damage for every tier 1 weapon I have and minus 30% attack speed. However, these still hit for 12s and 7s. I think it's fine. Minus 2 max HP for every different tier 1 item I have. I think so. I got um, an extra 5 luck and 5 harvesting for keeping these separate. If you're going to give a king. 50 like you may as well get rid of the tier 1 downside. The tier 1 downside still exists. King is a very strong character. Perhaps commentary on the developer's political beliefs, I don't know. Yeah, so like the thing about loots is not only they deal obscene amounts of damage, uh, but also they get your harvesting kickstarted. If you have 25 more harvesting on wave one, how much harvesting do you end up with at the end of the run? Oh god, flashbang. I'm sorry. Loot math. Ah. This equals that times one point oh five. That's right, yeah. Yeah. an extra 700 materials over the course of the run. That's like a lot. Also, I don't, is this because I'm good at movement or is it just generally, like, the early waves are really easy. So having a weapon that gives you um, luck and harvesting in the early waves is really strong. <laughs> what happens if I combine a weapon? 25% damage, 25% attack speed. Okay, I think we just keep rolling for loots then, probably. Harvesting increases are rounded up? Holy shit, you're right. I forgot about that, but you're completely right. Okay, so it's 956. It seemed too strong to be true. <laughs> That's funny, because I knew that that was true. It just seemed like it couldn't possibly be true, so I assumed that it wasn't. Uh, yeah, wow. All right, am I dead? Take some melee damage. I would rather keep getting luck. 
I don't think I did melee damage. Let's go um, armor and harvesting. And then they connect with sickle. God, they're so strong. This is Nero playing the loot while Rome burns. I have a favorite turn-based RPG. At the moment, it is Frosthaven, the videos for which you can check out on my YouTube channel. It's not very different, right? A very different tier 1 item. So there are some tier 1 items where it will make sense just to accept the minus two max HP for buying them so that I can have multiples, like trees, for example. Do I suppose that's the origin of the word fiddled used to mean fidget? I think so. I'm pretty sure I've heard that before. Whether that means it's true or not, I guess I and say, but... Yo, this wave sucked. Ooh. Okay, that was terrifying. I have found a medical turret. Should work nicely. I also am pretty sure Scarf is my item. Desync of the weapon hit really scratches your brain in the right place. The desync of the weapon. The wrong place? Okay. Well, I'm glad you like it. Or don't like it. I don't know. Weapons all attacking at different times rather than all at once. Gotcha. Another one? Ooh. Ooh. I think 10 speed's okay. Sure. Range on these loots. I'm like a a spider with swords or something. I've never seen anyone play six loots at the same time. Well, you're watching it right now. I used to occasionally have like string quartets in the library when I was in college. This is completely unrelated to anything except the fact that we're hitting things with stringed instruments. It was pretty cool. I liked it. They should do that more. Maybe I should have 
string quartets like on stream sometimes. Anyone own a string quartet? 20 luck. GG. Twenty more luck, GG. Jorbs the new tiny desk. Is tiny desk NPR? There's a spot in Seattle that does that stuff, and you can like walk past it and look in the windows. But yeah, it's not it's not tiny desk. It's uh, it's the same idea but called a different name. K U O W maybe? I don't know. K X P X. That sounds plausible. They're downtown by the like Space Needle and stuff. KEXP. I did want a tree. There's an elite semi soon. I'm not like that strong. I just need to purchase a few more loots. <laughs> just... Come on, dude. Just one more loot. Must be nice living in a culturally relevant city. Seattle's not a bad spot. It is quite a long way from which aren't the Pacific Northwest. On the other hand, the Pacific Northwest is a pretty sweet place to be, so... You feel it a bit in winter. It's very dark and overcast and rainy, and... It's kind of hard to go anywhere where that isn't true without getting on a plane. But I absolutely love Seattle summers. Shanti ring seems okay. There's a crit scaling on these. 1.5. Eh. We love the winters in the Pacific Northwest. We found the one person who likes the winters in the Pacific Northwest. Hold on, everyone. This seems fine. I would love one more loot. Okay, go goblet. Do I fish much now? I can't like hurt things. Uh -huh. So I do not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Huh. Okay, well... That elite seems to be a test of whether you can walk in a circle or not. Fortunately, I can. Anvil! 
my first time being offered Anvil. Very cool. Anvil seems particularly good on King, too, because if I upgrade all my weapons, I get all the bonuses, yeah? I don't think I need Silver Bullets. We're really just looking for reds or survivability at this point. Our damage should be good. Do I want a black flag? Probably. So the thing is, King, if I get a tier 4 weapon, I get... 25% damage, 25% attack speed. So I'm about to get 150% damage and 150 attack speed. That is why it doesn't really feel like I need to buy more damage anymore. Also, I just killed the elite on wave 11, so like my damage was already good. Did anybody like... <laughs> um... I guess the answer is no. Probably nobody tested whether loots were broken. <laughs> That's what this week is for. <clears> hmm. <throat> they seem kind of broken. My synchro target damage is very good with the loot target buffs. Um, also, all my other damage is very good as well. Yeah, loots also have a thing where they debuff enemies, making them take more damage. Loots kind of strong. I guess it's fine to buy this. Actually, what I might do... I'm going to recycle this. It feels a little weird, but what it achieves for me is it makes sure that my anvil upgrade is a purple to red instead of getting a white to blue anvil upgrade, which would be a lot less good. One of your current favorite bands moved from Oklahoma City to Tacoma. Tacoma? <sighs> There's a thing in the Pacific Northwest. Where some sort of real estate developer... Or maybe real estate developers, plural, I don't know. But like, the same... It's like McDonald's, except for restaurants that look like they aren't chain restaurants. And like, every town in the Pacific Northwest now has a street in it, which is like a cheek nightlife spot with nice restaurants and... but they're all like the same, but also they're not all this. It's weird. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is like Tacoma isn't so terrible anymore. Your partner isn't answering your calls to wake up for their tutoring gig. Are we cooked? Maybe. I've never gotten Cursed Mirror before. Wait, what does this even do? How is this better? What? Is it just minus 15% item price? Is that it? Might be it. You know where I'm talking about in Tacoma? See... <laughs> I don't know where I'm talking about in Tacoma, I just know it's there. Probably, like, walked through it once.
Hear about the spread of homogenous hipster cafes all over the world. You guess it's that on a smaller scale? Yes. And it's probably not like one person doing it all or one company doing it all. It's just like the people who are doing it know each other. And also probably all use like the same companies for like design work and everything. It's kind of like how family owned Mexican restaurants all have like the same colorful tables. But they all look like they're like custom and unique if you've never been in one of those restaurants before, but then if you have been in those restaurants before, you start to realize that like they're all getting them from the same place. I'm pretty sure that's true. Maybe I've just offended a lot of people who own family owned Mexican restaurants. Oh well. It's an elite wave. I want a diploma. What do you think this game would be like if instead of item rarity scaling on what wave you're on, it's scaled off your current level? I feel like that might be really cool. Experience would be more valuable. This is also an enemy I have to walk in a circle against. How many baits did I buy? I bought one cursed bait. Hey, I was walking in a circle around you. I'm back. All right, loots. Fair enough. At this point, part of it is that I'm playing King as well. It's not just the loots anymore. The fact that loot and loot are said the same way is very upsetting to you. Loot and loot. I don't think I see them the same. I said they're mostly the same. Eh, I don't think I'd buy that. What the fuck is that? Is it new? Dex Troyer. Legendary explosive weapon. 50% chance to explode on hit. Hitting an enemy spawns a lightning projectile. Seems okay. Don't think I buy that one. Alright. What is the funniest way for me to not like Dysomancer? Clearly a lot of people are interested in that. So maybe I should try playing it for 30 minutes. I'll just do my standard Jorb Sling. Make a spreadsheet and start scribbling on the screen. Say the art is bad. No, I just start making unhinged remarks about UI UX design. That's how I that's how I personally am an unreasonable consumer of games. Wow. I have a lot of luck. Okay.
I probably don't need to buy that. I do not have any range damage scaling. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty strong. I didn't think the range would be that long. I thought it was like a dagger. It's more like a spear. Nightbot is advertising the wrong game. I suppose I will change that. It's a dagger spear. True. Lightning ship is already really good. Oh my god, it's dead. <laughs> I was just getting settled in. Forty three armor. Yep. I mean, I don't need more damage, right? So. Lightning Shiv was nerfed, my beloved. Why not everything else? Curse makes some enemies stronger and makes some items stronger. That's basically what it does. Should I buy any of this? Here's an example of a cursed item that is stronger than a regular item. How much did it do compared to the loot? Oh, like a lot more? It's a close fight. Can I stand still against the wave 20 bosses? That's an interesting question. When do I plan on picking the controller back up? Maybe tomorrow. Five K for a loot, eight K for the cursed loot. Six. Okay, I just vomited in my mouth. <laughs> I. I just barfed a little. <laughs> To move. I don't know, did I have to move? I did move. Whether I had to or not. I 
Maybe I didn't have to. I've unlocked Excalibur, another legendary weapon. Excalibur gives you minus armor for every weapon you have and hits very hard. Why don't I even unlock this? I'm never going to even want to buy it. King. Uh. Damage and Destroyer on the final wave. Hold on, let me finish doing this stuff. What do you do next? Unlocking the items that I have as tier 2 feels like a thing to do. Maybe I want a spiky shield. Engineer is fun. Also, I feel like, yeah, it's easier to do engineer earlier rather than later because every new thing that I unlock reduces the frequency that I find turrets in the shop. I'll do engineer next. Uh, what were we looking at? This thing's damage, 21,000, 14, 10. Yeah, much less pronounced for this wave because, um, basically because my loots had more attack up time. There were enemies within range of me for the loots to attack more often. Let me just fix the bot. Should be better now. a character that can only use one weapon. That would be one-armed. I don't know when to do one-armed. One-armed unlocks focus, which I don't like at all, but one-armed is a semi-difficult character to win as. So doing it earlier rather than later to have the best possible item pool would make sense. What unlocks do I need? Reach level 10 before wave 6. It'll probably happen at some point. I have 6 different weapons at once. Sure. Reach 40% lifesteal. Uh, I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet. Finish run with 0 curse. What the fuck? How? Finish a wave with 1 HP and finish a run with 0 curse are both things that I'm going to have to like try kind of hard to do probably. I lost yet? I've lost twice. I lost his soldier, but I don't really count it as a loss. And I lost his speedy. I count that one. I'm pretty sure I just go wrenches as engineer. It's been a long time since I played engineer. I won arms dealer without ever having six different weapons. Correct. Correct. Easy to get zero curse on pacifist run. That makes sense.
zero curse just do a crash zone run? Hmm. There's no curse in crash zone? Wait, what? I guess if you don't buy the items that give you curse, there's no curse. Probably. I want harvesting. Yeah, it sounds like it's something that I'll probably do on my pacifist run. How to finish with 1 HP, though? Perhaps the simplest way is to buy a weird ghost and then not level up on the wave. Oh, demon will do that, actually. Right? I feel like Demon will do that. <laughs> Can't you just do it on wave one? Probably. But I feel like it will require thinking to do it on wave one. Wait, no curse? No, curse. Negative health on Apprentice. I don't like playing Apprentice that way. I think it is just like needlessly risky. Yep, this is my character. So supposedly wrenches never knock things into you anymore. This is a thing that somebody claimed was true to me. Which probably is a massive engineer buff. Yeah. It used to be that... So the wrench has like an arc that it attacks in. And if the enemy was in a position where kind of like swung around it and then hit the back of it. The knockback would instead knock the enemy toward you. Which I think is just a bug. And apparently that isn't how it works anymore, so... Maybe the dev also felt that way. I don't know. I need a lumberjack shirt at some point. Or I could get like one weapon that actually dealt damage, I suppose. I like keeping only wrenches until I have red wrenches though. The red wrench upgrade's very significant. Is this Maclamar? It sounds like it's Maclamar. I have not heard it before. It has all of the characteristics of a Maclamar song, though. Like, slightly peculiar subject matter. A chorus by someone with a nice voice. 
with like tenuous connection to the rest of the song. And also Maclamar. I think probably the part where Maclamar is rapping is the thing that gives it away <laughs> the most to me. But the other things were already strong indicators. How many Darth Vaders do I think there will be? Uh, I'll settle for 700. Also says Maclemore in the upper right part of the screen. That does also seem like a strong indicator. How to win with Captain? I think you mostly just have to play the game well. I don't think there's like a... This makes you win gimmick. I think you just have to kind of play well. Uh, my damage has not been struggling at all, White Seals, so that isn't really a thing I've had to think about, to be honest. But there are situations where you might want to think about it a lot more than I have been. It's going to depend a little bit on the exact wave compositions and stuff. How many other turrets he wants to sacrifice for one red turret. I also have to consider that each wrench you have gives you more engineering. So you are costing yourself damage from all of your other turrets. I might do Cyborg next. Maybe I should have done Cyborg now, actually. Just get all of the characters who really want a low item pool so they can get turrets in the shop done before my item pool gets too big. You met Billie Eilish at the club on Friday. It was an unforgettable experience. Very cool. What was it like? <laughs> One time, a friend of mine told me that they had stood behind Simcopter in line to get into TwitchCon. And I asked them in all caps what was his smell. God, the pandemic was wild. I, I had forgotten that I did that, but then the memory just came back all of a sudden. the pandemic made rapid lunatics of us all. You don't think I can pass this off as being about the pandemic? I think I can. <laughs> I'm going to try. Um. You're sure if I had asked Sim directly, he would have tried to describe it? Yeah, me too. He is a very nice guy. What was the smell? I, I was not told. 
A little bit of piercing wouldn't hurt. Parrots like piercing. Our explosions are doing a little bit better. We bought some stuff to help them. Does red turret like pierce or bounce more? I don't really know, to be honest. That is a very specific question. I could tell you what my instinct is on it, but like I haven't actually. I I feel like it would be dishonest to pretend to know. Yeah, that enemy, like, kind of isn't an enemy. I don't know. If you struggle to walk in a circle, I guess it's probably hard. Bounce is pretty much always better than pierce, as evidenced by bounce being red and pierce being purple. That is a way to make decisions. So I haven't found my Lumberjack shirt. You bought the game because when you asked, is the game fun? I said yes, 100% good recommend. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Cursed items are kind of strong sometimes. Too strong? Who could say? Now I'm kind of upset that I don't take that much damage. It kind of wins. Sure hope so. I guess if I have enough explosive turrets... You know, I think I actually want to confidently say if I get six explosive turrets, bounce is better than pierce. I'm greater than 80% sure that that's true. Bounce and Pierce don't play very well together, though. You kind of want one or the other. Have I played Builder yet? I have, but not on this save file. Is this Builder unlock? Oh, Lighthouse. Hmm. Lighthouse is a weird item. That doesn't work with turrets, right? It might work with turrets, I'm not sure. We'll buy two Tylers. That seems very reasonable. Lighthouse seems good for literally builder only. There are some weapons which scale off engineering. Um, and there are also, like, some characters who are happy to buy one Tyler and would then buy a Lighthouse afterwards. But yeah, it doesn't seem like a ubiquitously strong item. This is why I haven't played Builder yet. One of the reasons. Lighthouse got buffed 
to one or minus two. Why? Why? Some of the items have to be bad. Like, because otherwise... Well, there isn't an otherwise. It's just like, there will always be some items that are bad, unless they are all exactly the same strength, I guess. And if you try to make it so no item is bad, you just make it so the game is really easy. This is cheap. Sure. Ooh, Pierce. I guess if I'm offered Pierce, I'll take Pierce. It hasn't, like, attacked me. Oh, there it goes. House and nails only engineering items are fun. Yeah, that's true. Nail exists and is unlocked. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it is actually good then. A lot of the characters who don't want structures would be happy to buy lighthouse and nail. Happy? I don't know. Okay with it. It's weird that it doesn't make med turret heal you for more. Because med turret has such bad engineering scaling. Hmm. Guess not. Sure. Plus one damage for two purple items. I think it's plus five damage for two purple items. And also the scaling ignores your weapon scaling, so if you're like playing SMGs, which usually don't scale that well with range damage, you get plus 5 damage on them. Yeah, Engineer specifically makes it so your turrets spawn close to each other. That might be bad, this wave. Wave 16 is the one where the... Enemies who like to go into the spawners exist. Exist the most. There are so many of them. I fly like paper, get high like planes. I need to start the song again, sorry. Does she say Moo Dang in here? Is this like a, one of those really weird like prediction things? Wait for it. She definitely says my name. It, <laughs> it sounded more like Mudang the first time when I wasn't listening very hard. <laughs> Oh, was I hearing make him all day as Mudang? Maybe. Possible. To be fair, paper doesn't fly all that well. I don't know, have you ever seen the, like, paper airplane competitions? It flies pretty fucking well. <laughs> Do 
People like aren't allowed to run in the auditorium because the wind from them running may disturb the competition. Great stuff. You've been in one? Were you the plane or the competitor? As a competitor or the trophy? You were banned from being a plane? Are you saying you're on the no-fly list? <laughs> um... Holy shit. I don't like this elite very much. Although... I think it might more be wave 18 plus an elite. I think wave 14 and wave 18 with elites are a bit much for me right now. Unfortunately, none of those stats help me in any way. But also, none of the minuses hurt me in any way. Maybe I take it for 8 curse, then. Under the belief that curse is a good stat. What do you think? Can I afford it? Wait, I took the plus range damage! Yes! <laughs> the elite's first attack pattern screws with your brain since the bullets don't stop at closing in. The first time I ever saw that elite, I died in three seconds. I died with the wave timer at 57 seconds. <laughs> it made its first attack and I instantly <laughs> got hit twice and died. is Tay Tay these days. I haven't heard much about her recently. Did she like leave the internet after endorsing a candidate? I, I won't. I'll leave it just at that. A candidate. No further commentary. My Gatling laser seems very good at making it harder for me to see what's happening. Not sure if it's dealing any damage, though. What?! Holy shit! Holy shit! I just died! Just out of nowhere! Wow! Just crunched. Just crunched! Yeah, more speed would have won for sure. I think maybe more speed would have been the difference. It was hard to dodge. What do we call that? Helix attack? Is that a helix? It was hard to dodge coil attack at 9% speed. I saw more invested in sports than you are in Taylor Swift. It's been endlessly fascinating to you how after Travis Kelsey started dating her, you started dressing like an off-duty cop. Spiral. 
That's probably what it's called, yeah. Well, that was pretty bad. I should not have died there. To be honest, I was focusing more on trying to understand and dodge that attack, and less on like whether I was dying. <laughs> and probably if I had focused more on whether or not I was dying, I wouldn't have died. Go again. I don't think the problem was that I purchased a Gatling laser. Although, it was another distraction. I feel like the hitboxes of that boss and of two new enemies are a bit unintuitive slash too large. I immediately know one of the other enemies you're talking about. And agree. He's all then. Getting an early 16 harvesting feels like it could be good here. I want to play XCOM again. And then I want to play Darkest Dungeon. Why do I have these compulsions? Did you miss anything? Yeah, we died. The bosses just killed me. They are like, boom, you're dead. Another one. You would love to watch me play XCOM. Quite a lot of people enjoy watching me play XCOM. There are still people watching the YouTube series from like six years ago. The first Darkest Dungeon campaign I ever played, I really enjoyed, and I've been wishing for that high ever since. And the, like, final boss gauntlet was actually really good, too. It was good. It was a good experience. I had one good experience and still chasing that high. I wonder if Carl is good on this character. Probably. There is a new Grease game, it's true. You're a Darkest Dungeon anti-fan. Hmm. An XCOM 2 playthrough with mods. Here's the thing. I worked on Long War 2, which is a mod for XCOM 2. So if I were going to mod XCOM 2, the thing that I would make already exists. And so I would just play that. Hockham Streamer and Technomage insist Pocket Factory doesn't make structures, but Builder does. Shaking my head. Oh, Streamer means the character. I was really confused. I thought you were talking about me, and I was like, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs>
Early black flag. Let's go. And gentle alien. All right. I'm like slightly concerned that I can't actually kill things now. We'll find out. Ow. I <laughs> sure caught that. Oh. Ow. Killing yourself to kill a tree is absolutely exactly how the engineering experience usually goes. Is that is very engineer. Curse me? Longest Sun's Marvel. I just don't like... I just... There is an amount of, like, the soldiers are personalities that ruins XCOM for me, and a huge number of modern XCOMs move too far past it to a point where I don't find them enjoyable anymore. The enjoyability is so much tied to having a story for your soldiers evolve as you play. And if you like start with named soldiers based on IP. Yeah, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. I have a cursed compass. Sure? I tried Phoenix Point. Phoenix Point felt like it was going to be good, and then I got up to the part where I had more than one squad and saw how they handled it, and it just wasn't handled well. And then I stopped playing it. Like, it was handled poorly to the point where I didn't want to find out what the rest of the game was like because I no longer had any faith that it was good. But the first like 10 hours were fine. A little squishy. A little squishy. This is a cool modding scene for OG Exxon. Yeah, I've played some of that stuff. What does community support usually do? Isn't that just what it usually does? <laughs> is it usually 1% attack speed? It's double attack speed? Okay, that's probably good then. Sounds like we take it. I'm looking for good things to lock to become cursed, and I am just not finding them. Can I learn you light? Ow. 
Ow. I have to like sit up in my chair more, I think. This is actually kind of dangerous. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit more damage. <sighs> a strategy game even stupid people can play. Brutato, you're watching it. That's like exactly what Brutato is. We go for Strange Book. Sure. Take a scared sausage then. I can't find any more wrenches. Where'd they all go? Our flame tar is now good with strange book. Um, flame tar at scale off engineering, but I also bought a scared sausage, which means that my tarts can set things on fire. So all of my tarts are good with um, elemental damage now. Elemental damage is just good for me now. Not have let that spawn. Ooh, consumables heal me for one, I think. It's not a very big number. Easy ish. Why? Why not cursed? Fucking fish hook. Do I die now? The weird thing that curses a weird name for a mechanic that basically only buffs the stuff. Uh The enemies are meaningfully stronger. The cursed enemies. Oh fuck. That was really scary. Ooh. How is this stronger? It takes one longer. Okay. It even buffs the enemies. I see what you're saying. Yo. Presumably I want that.
parts. Please deal more damage than you do. <laughs> my engineering? 47. I should, as a reward for surviving all of this bullshit, have a pretty easy late game. That is my hope. We'll see, though. Exploding turrets. Oh, I have minus 10 crit. Hmm. Feels unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe it's time to change that. I don't know. Seems like a lot of resources for wave 13. I have a black flag, right? Black flag has made me 300 materials, and then I have 100 harvesting as well. Yeah, I should have bought heart, you were right. Forgot elemental damage was good. Alright. Lock in. It's okay. Medical turret makes me invincible, I think, maybe. Definitely heals me pretty fast. Also got a lot of HP regen. Is there an unlock requirement for Axolotl? I don't think so. God. Never cursed. Never cursed a single time. I don't remember if that works with um, community support or not. Medical turret with bounce OP and co-op. Fascinating. Oh, this game's kind of good, actually. Huh. Fascinating. Cursed improved tools. Increases the attack speed of your structures by 0.93%, 93% attack speed. Oh, it's usually 50% of attack speed. Hmm. That's very good. Do I want crit chance and elemental damage? I kind of do, right? A little bit. I... 
the idea that this game cares about being balanced for co-op is just like doesn't make any sense to me. I just don't really believe that that could be true. Yeah, it turns out the structure is attacking a lot faster, makes them better. What? <laughs> Jesus fuck. Um... Good grief. Why won't they die? If you just got a lot of cursed ones, I don't know. We have 16 and 18. They're very brutal. Yeah. It took too much damage, duh. Clearly. I think engineers kind of lining up poorly against how the DLC works. The DLC has more enemies who you have to go and kill somewhere on the map than the base game did. And that doesn't interact very well with you having a cluster of tarts all in the same place. Can I like... Hmm. I wonder if Pacifist will really struggle on the Abyss. I don't think so. I guess we'll see. What does Pacifist unlock? Something terrible, probably. Maybe Elephant seems good. Why are like four people saying, like I haven't played Pacifist on the DLC yet, why are you all saying what it's playing? <laughs> is like one person said it and then everyone else is like, oh I want to say it too. Like I haven't played that character yet, don't say what it's like. <laughs> A little communal competition to spoil the thing for the person playing the game. Hey, I found a pocket factory. And I've got my lumberjack shirt. Alright, cool. Well, thanks, Pokemon nerd. You don't feel like pointing out the mobs that shit out bullets are hard is that big of a spoiler? Why did you feel like you had to write it in my chat then?
Like, is it just really important to you that you get to hear yourself talk about what a character I haven't played it is like? I don't know. <laughs> Why? They're on a purple screwdriver. Maybe. Wow, I cannot kill that. All right, we go back over here. Any trees? Hmm. I'm now one shot. Okay, good. Do I take a Cursed Vigilante Rang on Wave 5 as Engineer? It's basically just a Vigilante Rang, but my turrets don't scale off damage percent. My Baby Elephant does. Okay, I take it for Baby Elephant, maybe. Hey, Shark Aside! Could have mirrored my cursed. Damn. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. Oh well. Do I want a dynamite? Probably not yet. Like eventually dynamite becomes good. Not yet. I don't even know if I want mirror, honestly. I feel like at the moment, at this point in the run, I'm mostly buying items that are worth less than 94 materials and that I don't care that much about duplicating. Suddenly, Walrus. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> hmm. Hi there. Hello, my friend. That reminded me that sea lining is a thing. I feel like I don't see people talking about sea lining that much these days. Okay, I can buy two incendiary tarts. That's kind of fine. I could also buy two baby with the beards. I think two incendiary tarts. Two weird ghosts, wave eight. I sure don't remember what's on wave eight. I could use six max HP. Hmm. The anglerfish would have immediately killed me. Apparently it wouldn't have. I don't know. I would still be on 1 HP. Still on 1 HP. Now I'm on like 4 or something. I think I would have been fine. I think I would have been fine.
It's kind of funny. You go check out where you killed the tree at the start of the wave, and there's a little pile of materials there. One uh, explodey turret seems good. This enemy right here that just died, the big one, that was cursed. It has a purple outline. So was that one and this one. They have a purple outline, they have more health and more damage. And drop more materials. The more curse I have, the more of them spawn. And the more curse I have, the more likely it is to find cursed items in shop. Which give you more curse, but also have a more powerful effect. I have a cursed vigilante ring in this run that I got very early that gives more damage percent than a regular one would. It's a huge sickle. Probably take piercing. Any news about DLC release date? I think there's a Steam announcement that says they're aiming for end of October. It feels like it's like pretty close to ready. To me. There's some balancing stuff to iron out, but I don't like, feel like you have to do that before it releases. You can release it and then release balance patches afterwards, in my opinion. There are a few bugs that feel like it would be good to fix those before release. Piercing rockets explode twice if they hit two things. This has got to be good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We found a goblet. This is a horde wave. Let's buy more enemies. Will they release it as soon as they end the beta? Or are we going to have to do some waiting? I think it's real hard to put this out there and then take it away again. Um, I think it's hard for you to do that to players and have them not like be frustrated by it. Uh, but I also think it's just like actually mechanically difficult. Because, like, it's on people's hard drives, right? Like, um, so, I don't know. If they take it down again, I will stop playing it for a bit. But I could absolutely just go, like, copy the files into a separate folder right now, so. I think the only way you could do that would be on a server-hosted multiplayer game. Do that. Steam supports removing games from your hard drive. So you copy it, and then you put it in a different folder. And then you still have it. That is the unbelievably advanced technology. I just want to make clear to everyone that I have been feeling fine recently and have not been having suicidal thoughts in case I show up dead tomorrow.
truth-telling is a dangerous job in this world. Goblet's gonna be less good on elite waves, but I think still good enough, probably. I'm rich! My structures can crit. 1% chance worth. Miss Wave 9. Wave 13 is a lot like Wave 9. This is the new Wave 9 right here. It's not quite as pronounced, but it's got a similar vibe to it. I'm just lost with Gladden on wave 20 for the third time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Question Jorbs, I'm not from the Steam Police. Would you download a house? Yeah. I would. I think everyone should. My structure is going to crit, so I shouldn't buy metal. I'm really living for this 1% crit chance right now. I can't believe Gentle Alien Cursed doesn't give you more. Um, enemies than regular gentle alien. Isn't downloading a house just installing the sims? Has anyone built a house in the sims to see if you'd want to live there? Or like to theorize about how to decorate rooms? Like either build a house that you're like interested in living in or build the house that you currently live in and then decorate it? I conceptually think it could be a cool thing to do, but haven't done it. And I am curious if there are people who have done it, who like got something out of it. I did the opposite and bought a house IRL to see if your sims would like living there. <laughs> what was your verdict? It would be nice, but the pool ladder keeps disappearing and you can't get out. Oh no. You're one of those Sims players. A cursed sad tomat. Sure. Jorb's Sims stream one. Me playing The Sims is unfortunately not interesting. I just try to min-max it to like get to the top of the career path and get married and have a kid as quickly as possible. And then I reach a point where it's like apparent to me that that didn't actually win. And then I get confused and stop playing. <laughs> okay, that's actually my cat. Meowing, right? Zephyr, what are you doing to my cat?
I killed that tree mainly because I wanted to make another turret for three seconds. The fact that it also gave me materials is fine. The real simmer tech is making your own save file where you customize every lot in the game. I kind of killed that. Like, this wave is not fun for Engineer. Looks like my damage is better than last time, though. God. Oh god, the machine guns. Oh god, the machine guns. <laughs> I'll take 4% crit. Sure, let's make it happen. This is map harder than the regular one. I think it's harder than the original one, yeah. Yeah, if this elite was on wave 16, like, just instantly dead. I assume. understand why my turret steals so much damage. Holy shit! Oh yeah, I'm alive. So now I'd like a bit more speed. That would be nice. So it's a bit easier to dodge these attacks. Uh, I'm gonna take this. I don't know if it makes my turrets shoot three times or not, but we'll find out real soon. I'm gonna take this as well, even though it's currently minus. It's, it's fine, I think. Another goblet's good. All right, we have 18. We'll see if I die. Can't really go kill that. It's cursed, so it will take forever to die. Like elites. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, those, <laughs> those are. Oh, the uh, ooh, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I've just made my speed go down instead of up. Dodging, thank you. Okay, um, I get a level up here, probably. Ain't no way you're beating a level in your life. You know, I actually think I dodged pretty poorly, but I'll take it. Thank you. Feels like a very different type of dodging against the strings of dots.
Oh, wait, can I get 20% speed somehow? Take that. I'm just gonna take engineering. This doesn't have a downside really, but also doesn't really have an upside. It does not appear that I can get speed. 6% dodge? YOLO! Call that. I'm gonna sit up super straight. Strings have not set up walls on the map. Yeah, they kind of do. Kind of impossible. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I would kind of like to redo that wave a few times because, like, if I spend 15 minutes on that, I will get to a point where I'm not getting hit anymore. But, oh. Yes, 25% damage to bosses works on constructs. Felt good until it didn't. Well, I got to a point where I could dodge the spiral, but then there was also a shark charging at me, and then there were a bunch more dots that I don't even know what they were. <laughs> I don't even know what they were. <laughs> 